It's a little tougher on us, a lot more reps for a few guys. So we just grinded through it. I mean, at the same time, it builds toughness. And we see seeing what kind of depth we got. How much do you see there's an opportunity with all the additional reps and all the I see it as a great opportunity. Even when we got everybody healthy and everybody back, it's, it's always a competition. And right now, for me, I see it as even more of an opportunity to compete and show what I've got. Coach Jones has raved about Shana Tuttle. What have you seen that separates him from most freshmen? He has a great first step, burst. Even, even for that size, you don't see a lot of 300-pound people that can get off the ball quick and keep it going. We expect a lot from Shai from what we've seen in the first few practices, for sure. How much more, I guess? Oh, so how much more attention are you getting from, from Coach Strip in general? I mean, how much more sort of individual work is there for you when there aren't as much guys that he's got to concern himself? Coach Strip tries to give enough. He, he gives an equal amount of attention to the entire D-line. I mean, with everyone being out, we all see a little more attention with fewer people, more reps. We get a little more coaching, but for the most part, it's pretty much the same. He has the same expectations, high expectations, and he expects us to get after it every day. Is there any part of your technique that you're really working on or anything like that that's, you know, anything that you've tried to kind of correct, I guess? In this right now, it's my first step. Mm -hmm. Be a run, run and pass, first step. Uh, reading sets, understanding the offensive line and his set and what moves I have and don't have, what my run responsibilities are. So, first step for me right now. Where do you think you are for your game and how? In terms of developing that first step and stuff you're working on. I'm confident. I come out every day to compete, whether it's Joe Blow on the field against me or I, I, I come out every day to compete, worked all, all spring in the weight room, got my squat, my squad and my bench numbers up, and I come out ready to showcase that every day. Is it just consistency with that? Is that, is that what you're focusing on? Is, right. Are you, sometimes it's good and sometimes the bad habits creep back in, or is it one of those deals where you're really trying to overhaul everything about your first step? All right, for me, it's, it's just making sure bad habits don't creep back in. I mean, have you, are you hoping to kind of stay where you are now, though? I mean, you know, you kind of, Y'all got the same defense now for a few years in a row. It looks like you're staying comfortable in position. Is that helping you grow? It is. It is. It was. It was a little difficult at first when I went from standing up to being down, and I had I had to grow back into that from high school to being down to going up to come back down, and now it's a lot more natural for me than it was the first year in this program. And I really. Think Where are you size wise compared to this time last year? I mean, you're right. I'm about, I'm probably about five to ten pounds heavier, but a, a lot more lean. And and for me, this off season was about turning that size and keeping the size and getting the quickness that I had 10, 15 pounds ago. And I definitely got it back, and I'm excited about it. So it's more fun to get in the pod pod and stuff now, right? I guess. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh it is to, to hear the scale, hear the weight. I'm like, oh, that's the way I want to be. And then hear the body fat. I'm like, oh, that's the body fat I want to be. So it just, it, it makes me feel good to know, you know, I'm working at it. And, it's showing. It's about 265 now. Is that what you are? 260. Like I'm in about 255, 260. Where, where is it your, your your goal? You talked about consistency, but when you look at other parts of your game, whether it's you know against the run or pass or you know my first step, whatever. What's what have you first couple things you've really prioritized? I'm sure there's a couple of at the top where you're like I, I got to get better at this. Right. I mean nobody's perfect, but for me right now, like I said, first step, hands, be a violent hands, hand placement, and making plays. For me, I. Right now, I, like I said, cerebrally, I'm understanding that I, if I had to go play another position, I, I kind of got that in my back pocket to be able to do. But it's, it's for me right now about making plays. Let's go just two more. Last year, you, you, you know, there were a few parts in games where you would come in in the second half for a couple of, just a couple of snaps here and there, and you would make a play while you were in there with the opportunities you got. How tough was it to, it's kind of almost, I guess, like being a pitch hitter in baseball. I mean, you got to come in ready to make a play, and, and you did that. Was that just you're staying into it mentally, how are we able to do that? It's difficult, but like you said, it was staying into it mentally. When I, I mean, be it Kurt in the game, Vereen, Barnett, whoever came to the sideline, I'm like, hey, your tackle giving you this, this, and this, try this move, or you see this, try that. Well, so I, it, was, it was kind of a staying locked in type thing because you never know when it's your turn, you never know when you're next man up.